Hi, this is Rod Blagojevich, and this is Lightning Rod Today. Today, I want to pay tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of the greatest Americans of all time. We celebrate Dr. King's birthday today because he was not only a political leader and a religious leader, most of all, Martin Luther King Jr. was a moral leader, the conscience of our country. And when he gave that great speech in Washington, D.C. in August of 1963, where he spoke of his dream of a country that judged people not based on the color of their skin, but solely on the content of their character. He provided a guide to how we should treat one another in our country. I returned home to a place where things have changed dramatically. Dr. King fought segregation at a time in the South where black people were not allowed to sit at lunch counters with white people, at a time when public accommodations, bathrooms were segregated based on race, at a time where if you were a black person, you had to take a seat on the bus, but only in the back. Dr. King and Rosa Parks and the great John Lewis, who I had the privilege of serving with in Congress for six years, led the fight to end all of that. There's still a lot of work to do, but let us move forward in the spirit of Martin Luther King with love in our hearts, nonviolent protests, peaceful protesting to try to bring change and social justice and remembering that everyone has a point of view. We are all God's children. And if somebody disagrees with us, we shouldn't cancel them. In fact, isn't cancel culture a form of segregation? Instead, let's listen to them. Let's exchange ideas and discuss with them ways to make things better. It's common sense, really. Find common ground by using common sense, always being motivated with love in our hearts in the spirit of the great Dr. Martin Luther King. This has been Lightning Rod today. See you tomorrow.